So in this video we're going to be looking at an example of solving uh, what we're calling a truncated first order PDE. So the problem we're interested in is find the particular solution of the PDE. So we're going to look at uh, y times du by dx minus x times du by dy, and this should be equal to zero. So you can see that this is a, a, a truncated PDE by the fact we've got zero on this right-hand side here. Okay, so we've just got the first derivative with respect to x and the first derivative with respect to, to y, but nothing else on this, on this right-hand side. And that's what we're calling a truncated PDE. So we want to find the particular solution of this equation, uh, which should contain the curve. So this is some gamma. And this curve is going to be specified by x equals 1, y equals s, and u equals s, where s is greater than 0. Okay, so that's our mission. So first we should find the general solution. So how do we go about that? Well, the key to understanding these truncated PDEs, or these first order PDEs in general actually, is to look at the characteristics. So the first thing we'd like to do is construct and solve the Characteristic, I'm going to be lazy and just write CH for characteristic, the characteristic ODE. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there's a little bit of pattern matching, and if we compare with the general form of our truncated PDE, so whatever's in front of the du by dx, we've called A, so here we can identify that A is equal to Y. So where's that come from? That's just from this equation up here. That's this y here. And so in general we were calling whatever is in front of du by dy as, as b. Go back to my red pen. So that's this, this thing here. Let's not forget the minus sign actually. So it's everything in front of that du by dy. So here b is equal to minus x. Okay, red pen, that's, that's this bit here. So once we've identified these two coefficients, we can simply write down the characteristic uh, ODE. So that looks like this, dy by dx is equal to b over a in general. And in our particular case, b is minus x and A is Y. Okay, so that's our ordinary differential equation and what we see is that this guy is separable, separable. And that's a spelling mistake, separable. And we know how to solve separable ODEs, so this immediately gives us that Y times DY equals minus X dx, and this we can integrate up to give me one half y squared equals minus one half x squared plus, and I have a constant, and I'm going to call that constant one half k here, just for simplicity. So this is a constant. So that's my solution to the characteristic ODE. And we can just rearrange that so that we get mu of x, sorry, mu of x and y is x squared plus y squared, and this is equal to a constant. And this, so this defines my characteristics 
Okay, so that's the first point. So if I want to plot the characteristics of this problem, I just plot the curves given by x squared plus y squared equals k. And the second thing that this tells us is, or that we know, is that this thing is a solution of our PDE. So once, we're, once we've obtained this information about the characteristics, we can simply write down the general solution, the general solution. So that's y of x, uh, sorry, u of x and y. So there's going to be some arbitrary function w of mu of x and y. So that's mu of x and y, and that's, in this case, an arbitrary function of x squared plus y squared. So let's just make sure we know that this is an arbitrary function. Okay, so that's the general solution, an arbitrary function of x squared plus y squared. The second part is to construct the particular solution. So we want a particular solution on uh, gamma, which is x equals 1, y equals s, and u equals s. So essentially we have to find out what this arbitrary function w is such that our solution uh, contains the curve gamma. And to obtain this, all we simply do is we substitute these values here. So we substitute these into the general solution. So my general solution is u equals an arbitrary function of x squared plus y squared. So on this curve, u is s. I still have my arbitrary function. And in its argument, I have x squared. So that's 1 squared on this curve gamma plus uh, y squared, which is here, s squared. So now I've used the information of, of, of my curve, what I now need to do is to invert this to find this function, this unknown function w. Okay. So let's define a new variable. r is 1 plus s squared. And that is exactly the argument of this function here. Okay. So that's why I define define r is 1, 1 plus s squared. I can then invert this relation to give me an expression for s. So I take the 1 across and then take the square root. That would give me two solutions. But here we're told that s is greater than 0. So this negative root here, we don't want that one, okay? So we can cross that one out because we're told s is greater than zero. And then I can simply place these two relationships into, so let's place these two up into this equation. So s is the square root of r minus one on the left-hand side. And that's equal to my arbitrary function. And whatever is inside here I called r. So that's 1 plus s squared equals r. So I just flip this round and that tells me what my arbitrary function is. So w of r is simply the square root of 1 minus r. So the final step is to use this in the general solution. 
So let's just go back. Here's my general solution here. So U is this guy here. But now I know what this function W is. So it's a case of substituting the argument x squared plus y squared into this function w of r. And if I do that, what I find is I get u of x and y is the square root. Then instead of writing the r in my uh, function w, I write x squared plus y squared and then minus 1. And that's my particular solution, so that solves the problem. And if we scroll down, you can see I've got a plot of this solution here. So we've got the solution surface. So that's the yellow, the yellow surface. These contours here, so these all have constant u. These are my characteristics. So if you remember, we said the characteristics were circles given by equations x squared plus y squared equals k. So that's what these guys are here going around, different characteristics. And then finally, you can see in red, so that's this line here. So this was my curve my curve gamma. Okay, that was my my Cauchy data, my, my auxiliary condition. And the final thing to say is this is crashed. The final thing to say is that this is a hyperboloid. Okay, that's it.